Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. So today there are some interesting things to talk about because we got some Rainbow High news. Yeah, if I would script my videos, maybe I wouldn't sound like an idiot when I start them. But basically, the creator of Rainbow High did something very unexpected. He dropped three new dolls, like not for sale or anything yet, but he just posted three of them. One of which we already knew was coming, but the other two just came out of nowhere. <laughs> um, the creator's Instagram is like M. Scott, some numbers. I don't, I don't know. I don't follow him, but wow, because the dolls are stunning. I already picked my favorite of the three, but we've also got some stock pictures of Jet Dawson, new in her box, and of her hair, which I wanted to talk about that because her hair looks interesting. I, I don't know if it's supposed to look like that or if it's just like showing us the layers, but we'll get to that when we get to that. I think we'll start with the Jet Dawson pictures since we've already seen her, so I don't have as much to say. Because the other three dolls, holy shit, you guys are going to be in love with them. They are so pretty. So let's just get right into it. So here we have Jet Dawson in her box. This seems to just be her regular re release. I'm thinking that if you get a numbered variant, it's most likely going to be on that rainbow high tag, the black one. I could see the numbers being on the back of the tag. Though they might do something else, they might print it onto the box. I really want a numbered variant, but at the same time, if I initially order from the first pre-order whenever that starts, and I get the number variant, I'm most likely only going to order one. So if I get the number variant, and not the regular one, I'm gonna have to spend extra money to get the regular one so I can have one to open. You know, that's kind of where the dilemma pops in, I would say. But overall, the fact that they're doing number variants does kind of have cash grab energy to me. It's kind of like they're making her this like pseudo special edition, collector's edition variant doll. And like, obviously you can see it says Rainbow High Collector, so she is meant to be a collector's edition. But at the same time, they're trying to make her like this limited thing when they're also going to be giving her a wide release. So it's just strange to me. If they want to change the box for the number variant and make it look totally different, then that would be a special edition. Though I would say that they should also change what's in the box to actually make her a special edition, you know? Like maybe they could give her like a third outfit that you can only get with that special release. Though... That would probably enrage fans. They'd be like, grr, I can't get the special outfit. But, you know, they would have to do something to make her worth it. So I guess it's more just like a status thing. Like, I have one of the 1,000 dolls that have the fact that there are only a 1,000 of them in existence stamped on it. Which is pretty cool when you think about it. Rambling aside, um, we have another picture of her. See gorgeous eyes and long, beautiful eyelashes. Beautiful designer gown, sewn fashions, and premium hair. My main thing is the premium hair down there in that one panel, because do you see how short the pink is? I don't know if they just cut it off there for the picture to show the layers with the rainbow underneath, but if that's actually her back profile, that's going to be so cursed. I don't know if we actually already saw her back profile or not, but like, if that is the way she's actually going to look, I'm going to be so confused. Because, like, is the pink going to be, like, really short then? Because why would she cut her hair like that? <laughs> she's a doll, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. But it's just so funny to me to think that she just, like, cut her hair like that. I'm also very confused with how her hairstyle works in general. Like, how did they get the bun up like that? How is it half and half like that? I have so many questions and there are so little answers currently. <laughs> But anyway, we can move back to the box. It seems to be the same kind of thing that they did with the twins box with those little things around the corners. I kind of like that. I've seen some people say that they don't really like her package, and while I do definitely think it's strange, I don't hate it. I definitely wish that the background behind her had a little more going on, like maybe it could look more like a fashion studio because it kind of just looks like a weird spray-painted wall that she's standing in front of. It doesn't look very fashion studio-y, even though she's supposed to be the art of fashion, as it says down there. Oh, wait, we haven't even looked at the picture of the back of her box. So on the back of the box, we see an artwork which is not as good as the magazine cover artwork we saw her have with Crystal's magazine. Um, 
Her forehead looks huge. <laughs> she got a five head. It says, Jet Dawson is it. The up-and-coming fashion icon debuts her first couture collection. Um, I don't like the dress still, but... I think this doll is cool. I'm excited for her. I think she's going to cost around 50 bucks, which I guess it's an okay price. I spend that much on Bratz dolls sometimes, so whatever. But yeah, all in all, I'm very excited for Jet Dawson, and I'm hoping to just get a normal one and I could search for a number release elsewhere. You know, the fact that I'm saying that means I'm probably going to get stuck with a number release. Not that I would be complaining. That would be cool. But anyway, what do you guys think of her? Comment below, because now we're moving on to the three new characters. So this picture was posted to the creator of Rainbow High's Instagram, and we've got the Rose Girl from Series 3 and two other mystery characters. Now, I didn't cover this in my video about the Series 3 leaks because I just kind of forgot to include it, but there is an, an announced slumber party line with three new characters, one of which has a silvery color scheme. And the baby blue girl on the right is leading me to believe that that might be her because she kind of looks like a slumber party doll, let's face it. So out of these three, we can see that Rose has the new face mold that the twins have, and the other two have the original face mold. The doll in the middle is stunning. I'm so glad that they're finally doing hair textures. A lot of people were saying, come on, we need a doll with braids, we need dolls with crimps, we need dolls that just don't have either straight hair or curly hair. The two big curls in the front that are gelled. I'm so glad that they're finally doing hairstyles. <laughs> These dolls were honestly so plain before where they were just like only having the two big gelled curls and like the loose hair in the back. I love the rainbow twists or braids. Those look like braids, yeah. I love her rainbow braids in the middle. She looks so good. And of course they gave her brown eyes, which I always love. I love to see brown eyes on dolls, honestly. I think it's like my favorite doll eye color. Yeah, that's probably why I like Katya and Felicia so much. <laughs> but anyway, I think my favorite overall out of these three is Baby Blue Girl, just because she has my favorite contrast ever. Dark skin and a very light color scheme. It just looks so good on her. Oh yeah, and of course she's got baby hairs, which I don't think any Rainbow High doll has as of right now. Yeah, they didn't even give Crystal that. I guess it's because they gave her the two gelled curls hairstyle, though. <sighs> um, the girl in the middle also seems to have gloves, which are pretty nice. The only thing I don't like about the girl in the middle is her shirt. I don't like the two-piece thing. It looks kind of reminiscent of Ruby. And that's like my least favorite thing about Ruby. I actually switched Ruby into her second outfit because I really did not like her first outfit with the shirt and the thing that goes over the shirt. Looks a little. Oh, I just noticed Rose's dress says magic all over it. That's so cool. I was worried that they were just going to brand her with Rainbow High all over. Very glad to see that they didn't. But then the middle girl has a Rainbow High shirt. But that looks more like something you could get at like a school gift shop or like when you graduate, so that one looks a little more realistic, other than the character, unlike the characters who, like, are constantly wearing things that just say rainbow or sparkle all over it all the time. <laughs> Seriously, are those the only two brands in this world? <sighs> I love Rose's hair colors. I think pink looks really good on her. It's definitely her color. I also just love pink hair on dolls in general. That's why Sakura Miku was my first pull-up doll ever. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't think I have much more else to say because we can't really see the rest of them. But from what we can see here, I love them. Baby Blue Girl is my favorite, Rose is my second favorite, and the middle girl, I would have to see her second outfit to change my mind because I just don't really like her first outfit, but her hair looks so nice. So, what do you guys think of them? Go ahead and comment your fave below because I am interested in seeing if the rest of you are also stands of the blue girl. And with that, we have gone over all of the Rainbow High leaks. Um, I would talk about the sleepover line, but I'm still holding off on that because we just don't know much about it. All we have is names. So actually, why don't I read off the names while we're here? So the names of the three new characters from the sleepover line are... Marissa Gold, 
Marissa Golding, Robin Sterling, and Brianna Dulce. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. So I'm thinking Brianna is going to be Spanish, because Dulce is, of course, a Spanish word. And Robin could possibly be the blue girl here. I feel like it's a possibility. Um, I don't think Marissa Golding is here unless the girl in the middle is Marissa. But this is from the slumber party line, and she doesn't really look like she's, oh my god, dressed for a slumber party. <laughs> Blooper. But yeah, go ahead and comment your thoughts. I'm very excited for the future of Rainbow High. It's looking very bright so far. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in my next one.